Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the No Excuses Ladies Show, episode number 30. I am Eva Eckert and I am your host. No Excuses Ladies, this weekly show for all of you ladies out there who have been struggling with making too many excuses and find themselves being unhappy and unsuccessful in life. This weekly show can give you examples of how to apply the no excuses mindset in all areas of your life with the foundation of health and wellness so you can succeed in life, move the needle forward with the necessary tips provided. No excuses tribe is welcoming all badass ladies out there and those of you who want to become a badass in real life. I am here to help you, guide you, support you and lead you to your full potential you can discover here the power of self-belief, self-motivation, self-discipline, so you can start making the excuses and create the life you truly desire by being the best version of you. That's what it's all about. So welcome to the show, everybody. I am so grateful, super grateful that I have the opportunity to always be here with you. And also, thank you for showing up, showing up, watching this episode, staying here with me as I am broadcasting all different social media and also live on YouTube. Yes, so you can always subscribe to my YouTube channel. So click the button below and do this. Now, my uh, my friends, uh, as, as, as we go along with the new episode 30, this is an episode number 30, I just want to always remind you about that you have a free gift from me from just showing up that 20 minutes coaching call. You just need to click and submit your information here online and we can, I can reach out to you and we can get you right on it with the coaching call and figure it out. What is the next step for your growth? Pretty much. Right. So last week recap, we have been talking about how solitude can help you with creativity uh, just generally in life so make sure you're watching the last episode from last week and today's topic do what you can with what you have where you are that's what the the other uh theodore roosevelt said one time i think it's great and it's gonna perfectly match with our our topic because i want to discuss with you really the tips how to stay fit during the summer as we are approaching right now, when I'm recording this episode, we are approaching the uh, the summer. The kids are done with school in most areas. I think in all of the areas, pretty much. Some schools are done even here in California. Some schools are done at the end of May. Our school, our kids, they have been done with with school already. So I know that your schedule will be changed. A lot of parents' schedule will be changed. You guys will be traveling and you will be taking those different excursions, and it's seems like the whole schedule will be different. So now, uh, exactly as I, as, I, as I have been planning for the trip to Europe, I've been preparing myself uh, to visit my homeland, I, I was strongly feeling the pressure on myself, let me tell you, of keeping the same schedule, keeping the same schedule. And I thought that so many of you, exactly in those summer months, you switch your schedule. You switch your schedule to the point that now when you switch your schedule, you switch your routine. And everything what you have learned maybe during the whole year or maybe a few months, maybe you've been trying to lose weight, maybe you've trying to um, learn the habit of work. A lot of times it's being forgotten. It's being pushed away because you travel a lot, you, you take the kids to different places. Instead of, thinking, okay, how can I keep as much as you can the habits that are the most important for me? How can I keep the routine that I've been working so hard on it? And I want you to ask yourself a question today. What have been the most important routine or habit that you have developed in the past months? What was what has been the newest habit that you have developed? This is very important, guys. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's for everybody. This this show is for everybody. It doesn't need to be the new going to establish that working out, eating healthy, keeping your morning routine. Maybe you've been working out in the morning. You need to still get up no matter the fact that you have you are 
vacation and travel and you need to get up in the morning just to do your workout once you're gonna establish this the next thing is just call to action just do it just do it schedule look in front of the planner look at the plan and plan this that's what i've been teaching you for all these months and this applied to summer vacation and why is like this because think about it when you switch your routine your 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 workouts number one then your eating habits number two what happens next the next step is really gaining weight so it's like summertime always uh, during uh, you know when when the peak was in a uh, during the summer in time open people would travel and a lot of people would actually gain weight during the summer because of the parties vacations trips excursions drinking getting together with your friends awesome great we all want to keep the the best relationships you want to cultivate the relationships we want to uh, uh, meet with the with our loved one and uh, enjoy the time but it is this has to be a separation also from what's your goal what's the most important thing for you and that's what happens you gain the weight so i want to prevent you today i want to give you the tips today that will can be implemented immediately so you can change something in your life so as i told you we are preparing for the trip and i had such a strong thought like oh my god like how can i keep the schedule of course guys always water is important as you see i always drink the water make sure you're drinking water it's summertime vacation time we gotta drink water water all the time yes so how can i keep the same schedule as much as i can obviously there is a uh, between California here where we are and Poland, there is a nine hours difference. So most likely you will not be able to see me at the same time. I'm going to still post and try to do my best as far as the show goes and give you some tips during the, uh, uh, this time that we're going to be traveling and also uh, another uh, excursion that we have planned at the end of July. But you're going to find out more about it and how this can also help you. So you know think about it how many times really you felt you felt disgusting after coming back from the vacation how many times you felt you step on a scale you look at the scale and you will grab your head and you would say oh my god how did that happen no way that i gained 10 15 20 pounds i know that it's not only one person that there is so many of you that dealt with this i know this for sure because we we feel you know we go on vacation if you feel so great that we we almost wanted that yes i want us to step away from the schedule i want us to step a lot of you you think it's good time to take a break but then usually the break that break cost you your wellness your happiness think about it so i am not saying that has to be done exactly 100 percent like it was but what's the closest percentage that you can keep the same way what can you do to keep the same way so today first of all i want to ask you guys to to create on a piece of paper write down these habits that have been the most important for you this is very good to do that so write it down what it is for me, I start writing down that was obviously uh, the journaling, the workouts, uh, you know, reading, um, what equipment I need to bring. And th this list gave me an outline. And also this list caused me to actually go live today and, and give you the tips because I have experienced this, this pressure that, okay, it's nine hours difference. How can I keep my schedule? I still wanted to work out. And you know that when we go, I always broadcast even live these sessions and we're gonna do our best, even though it's gonna be a time difference, we're still gonna be recording a lot of them, but this can be also you. So uh, why, why this is so hard to do that? So of course, it's going to prevent you from feeling that frustration when you come back from the vacation because everything is great and good when you're doing it but then the consequences are sometimes tragic because you're gonna put 10 to 20 pounds in a 10 to two week period or maybe throughout the whole summer maybe two months everybody is different but then the feeling of it and then the struggle that you're gonna have till the end of the year because putting on weight is so much easier 
than actually losing it. The amount of calories and hard work that has to be put on. So think about this today. I want you to think about the consequences that from changing the routine, something that is so important for you that you've been working so hard on that can be forgotten in, in a split of a second. So how can we, how can we, and what can we do to really make this work? Well, uh, let me give you uh, an, also an example what I was thinking. So let me just give you an example of how I prepared myself. Uh, so years ago, uh, this has been uh, quite some times because all these thought, thoughts that I gave you today, it caused me to being so prepared for these trips, right? And the whole family is always preparing. We have a separate bag of preparation. But I remember like today, flying to Poland and thinking, okay, the shake... I will just go to the store and I'm going to get a protein shake. I'm going to get some powder for the time that I'm there. So I remember uh, one of my friends from Poland actually had a shop similar to GNC, the vitamin shop here in America. And I, at that time, actually, for some reason, this was closed. So I was searching for another one. I found another one and I bought it and I was so dissatisfied with the flavor. Not only I wasted time to look for the stuff, I also could not drink the shake. So I want to think about these things. If you're going to be prepared for this, for this, for any trip, any excursion that you have, you, you know, taking the protein shakes, taking your vitamins, supplements, maybe you want herbal tea, like I'm drinking always for energy and uh, protein chips and protein bars. And I'm going to go over and, oh, you know, like even oh, work out, work out uh, here, like, I'm going to show you what I have. Like I'm traveling with these discs. I'm traveling with these bands. This, this is such an easy thing to do, but yet so crucial. And the outcome is amazing. It's going to prevent you from uh, uh, gaining weight and it's going to keep you in the zone of staying fit and healthy, right? So I remember that I was so frustrated with the fact that I couldn't find the right uh, products. Now, I was in search for the workouts uh, gear. Then some friends actually gave me the workout gear. I got a sandbag, I got some, uh, you know, dumbbells. But this whole thing took like three weeks to put it together. And uh, I was doing what I can. I was doing actually a body weight exercises, which you can actually do and make sure you guys, you can follow me, follow us. I posted here on uh, YouTube, posted the link that you guys can follow us on YouTube. There is hundreds and hundreds of videos of body weight workouts, sliders workout, bands workout, vacation workouts, that it's going to be so easy for you. And I was doing my body weight, but... You know, all of this picture put it together, the workouts, the, the food and everything else, be prepared. Be prepared. So what we do, we prepare the whole bag. We prepare the whole bag. And that's what I wanted to tell you today. Grab those bands, grab the sliders. Uh, don't travel with the dumbbells because they are pretty heavy. And um, what else you can you can take? Take your supplements, take your shakes. Take it. And I literally put in small containers my pre-workout so I save my um, my space in my luggage. But by, I'm telling you, by, by following this routine and preparation, you're going to stay in the routine and the habits that you have worked so hard for. And I guarantee you that when you come from this vacation, you're going to feel more energized. You're going to feel more accomplished. You're not going to be frustrated with the fact that you gained the weight. You're going to feel light and you're going to feel like it's so easy for you to go back to the same routine because that's what happens during the holidays throughout the year when we have the biggest holidays. And that's what we always would measure at peak when people gain the most weight. It's so not worth it. It's almost like a bad habit of doing this. Habits can be broken. Remember, when we had all these episodes about habits, it's up to you. Make a decision. Just change something today. Prepare yourself for these vacations. Make a mental awareness that you're going to change something, that you're not going to be following the same habits that you have. Work out. So it's so easy when you finish the vacation, when you can go back to your habits and it, it just goes right in because that break 
you want to gain the weight and you mentally check yourself out from doing these good routines, these good habits. And we don't want that. For some people, it might be very easy to, even if they are a few days away from workouts, step right in. But for many of you, it will be very hard. It's going to be hard for you to get yourself together. And on top of the fact that you feel heavier, you have less energy. So then you convince yourself not to do it. And it's a vicious cycle. And I know that I'm saying the right things because I've been in this industry for 20 plus years and I know exactly how it works. When you feel sluggish, when you feel overweight, when you feel heavy, you just don't want to work out. And that's the spinning cycle. And that's very dangerous because then you put on more weight. And then after vacation and you don't feel, you don't like it. And the bad feelings come around. And again, everything goes into that cycle that we talk about. So this cycle can be always broken. Remember, think that you can do it. Prepare yourself and go for it. And I hope that you found something uh, really important here, some good tips that I gave you. And that you change this routine, change this habit, this bad habit that you've had over the summer. And that you stay here with me and watch the previous videos so you can learn something. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos. I am looking forward to, to see you guys. And again, remember that you can schedule your free 20 minutes coaching call with me. And I can help you to step up your game in your mind, body, and business because everyone needs a coach and mentor. And by having a coach and mentor, like we discussed, where I discovered to have one by your side, it's absolutely amazing thing to have someone that keeps you accountable. And that's how you step up your game. So again, questions, comments, please uh, post it here. Looking forward to hear from you. Have a fantastic beginning of the summer, the whole summer with the great tips that I gave you today. Talk to you soon. No excuses.